Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to eliminate your input delay and get better performance while gaming in GeForce Now. Once again, a lot of you guys have been requesting me to make a video on this and I'm back again with a foolproof solution to all of your issues and queries. Alright, for this, you have to follow really simple steps so make sure to watch this video till the end and without wasting up any further ado, let's get started. So the really first thing that I want to tell you guys is to get an Ethernet connection. Once again, if you are playing on Wi-Fi or a wireless connection, then you might face a lot of input lag because wired net will give you a far better quality of network than a wireless internet. So if possible, go ahead with the wired internet connection. Alright, so once you've got up a good internet connection, what I recommend you guys is to search for network settings in the control panel. And once you are in here, you should be right clicking on your ethernet and then simply go to properties now once you're over here you have to double click on this internet protocol version and then use the following dns server addresses just type in 8.8.8.8 and in the alternate dns server type in 8.8.4.4 once you're done with that simply click on ok this will not only improve your performance in GeForce now, but your overall internet quality as well. Also, I highly recommend you guys to go to driver section and then click on update drivers. Search automatically for the latest drivers. And if you have any driver update pending for your ethernet cable, it should automatically do that. Now, once you are done with all of the best settings for your ethernet, once you're done with that, I would like to introduce you guys to some crucial internet settings for your windows. And for that, simply search for settings on your windows and then Go to Windows Update section and in here make sure that your Windows is always up to date. If you have any pending downloads, just download it and then go to the advanced options over here and then go to delivery optimizations and make sure that allow downloads from other PCs is turned off. Now once you're finally done with everything, simply right click on your GeForce Now desktop shortcut. Then simply go to open file location and then you will be in the file directory of your GeForce Now. You will already have a GeForce Now JSON file over here. So I'll be providing this GeForce Now JSON file in the description below. You can simply download it and paste the same file in the folder. Now over here, just replace the file in the destination. In these files, there are some slightly different settings that are optimal for you guys. And just so you guys don't have to undergo any of the changes manually, I have already done everything for you. So you just have to copy and paste everything over here. And once you're done with that, simply close these file. And now what you have to do is minimize this and open GeForce Now. Okay, once GeForce Now pops up, you have to go to the settings and must follow these in-app settings that will enhance your gameplay experience so no matter you are on free membership or any other membership this will work perfectly fine for you for the server location i highly recommend you guys to go with auto server locations then for streaming quality go to custom and then copy this segment over here the detail section max bitrate should be set to auto resolution should be 1280 by 720 frame rate should be 60 fps vsync should be set to adaptive and just for poor network connection should be turned on also scroll down resolution upscaling should be set to standard if you have enhanced or ai enhanced i highly recommend you guys to set it to standard then your clipboard should be set to on or off it's a personal preference doesn't really matter much the most important setting is over here the direct mouse input should always be set to on this will minimize the latency of your mouse input and that's going to be helping you guys a lot also a really important setting that i would recommend you guys is to turn off the discord rich presence as it will save a lot of bandwidth in your application now once you're done with that you can simply launch in the game you want to play and have a really amazing experience so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out and if i could make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button also leave your network specs in the comments below and i'm going to be replying to each one of you for the best settings individually we'll see you guys in the next video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out